Hi everyone, Sujit here and in today's video I'm going to share one of my workout day from a current program I'm following. It's an 8 weeks program which I've created considering my this year's goals. I'm left with another 2 weeks and then I'll be sharing my progress in another video. So stay tuned. So this program looks something like this and as you can see it's just the basic fundamental push and pull exercises. However, I have to get very strong with these push-pull moments in order to do more advanced bodyweight training. So hopefully by the end of this program, I have some strength and then my phase two strength program is ready as well, which I'm already working on and I'm just left with few touch-ups. It'll be ready soon. So by the end of this month, I'll be starting a new program. So enough talking. Let's get into the workout now. Welcome to the voiceover guys. And I've started the workout with a warm up set of pull ups and I've managed to do eight repetitions out of it. So my whole focus for all these exercises is to get control over my body. I don't want any swinging, no momentum, just straight form pull ups. I did total of five working sets for pull ups with added resistance of around 30 kilos. The whole reason for doing five sets is to give myself enough volume to make this exercise more effective because if i'm doing just three sets of one or two repetitions you won't have enough volume and shock to make your body stronger so that's the whole reason for that so as you can see here i've added 30 kilos of weight and i'm doing three repetitions strict form no kipping no momentum so i just want to be an absolute beast in this exercise my ultimate target is to lift roughly around my body weight but for this year I just want to get to 50 kilos of resistance with five strict form pull-ups so I've given myself a realistic time frame to achieve this goal So now on to the final working set and in this one I've added another 10 kilos totaling the weight to 40 kilos which is roughly around half of my body weight now. I did not know that I'll be able to do it but somehow I've managed to do one rep out of it and I'm very happy because I've broken that psychological barrier of you know doing 40 kilos. So next time I'll be confident doing this. So this was my one rep max and as you can see the eccentric is very controlled and I'm very happy with it. So now moving on to the dip station and what I have realized is my pushing power is much stronger than my pull and that's why I have straight away added 30 kilos and I've managed to do 4 repetitions. I guess it was one of my those days when I was feeling very strong and I just wanted to smash everything. Even after four repetitions, I was feeling pumped up. So I thought let's superset it with a body weight dips. And I did 10 repetitions of it. And here I've followed same set range for dips as well. I did five sets with four repetitions and eight to 10 repetitions of body weight. So same target for dips as well. I want to get to a resistance of 50 kilos with five repetitions. So now onto the final set and I've added another 10 kilos in this, totaling the weight to 40 kilos. And I've managed to do two repetitions followed by eight repetitions of body weight. Now moving on to pike push-ups, one of the best exercise for your shoulders and if you want to do handstand push-ups in future, 
this is the fundamental exercise for that. When I started this program, I could not do one repetition of it and I thought I'm gonna fall on my face. It was that hard for me. But now I'm nearly to the end of this program and I can easily do 10 repetitions, which is very good. The only thing I have to do is I need to move my hands closer to my feet to make that perfect 90 degree angle. For this exercise, I did three working sets with 10 repetitions. Now onto the pistol squats, some lower body workout. And like I said before, it was one of those days. And for the first time, I've done four repetitions on each leg. So same set range for this as well, I did 3 walking sets with 8 repetitions. And now moving on to the last and the worst exercise for the day. I still can't get over it that how bad my form was. I simply could not control my body on this exercise. And that brings me to another important point guys, that if you're not assessing, you're missing out a lot. Because if I wouldn't have made this video, I would have thought I'm doing it perfectly fine. But now I can look at the video and I know what my weak points are. So please make videos, take pictures because if you're not assessing you're guessing and we don't want any guessing game and that concludes my workout day as well so that's all for today i hope you have enjoyed the video do let me know in the comment section what you think of this workout so if you have any special request or any query about your training or if there is any particular exercise you want me to cover do let me know in the comment section and I'll try to make a separate video about it. Thanks for watching and making me part of your day. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, stay young.